Hi friends, welcome back to Sheena's Homestead. Today is a glorious, wonderful day. Not only was it 70 degrees outside here in Illinois, it was just perfect. It was such a beautiful day and I get to plant my first seeds of the year directly in the ground. So as you know, I winter sow and I have a bunch of seeds started both under lights and in winter sowing um, containers. But today we are going to sow straight into the ground and I am very, very excited to do this. So I'm going to use this bed right here. Normally it gets a little more shade in the summertime, but because the leaves haven't come in yet, we are going to get full sun. And um, um, I'm going to put up a, just like a temporary little greenhouse, even though these don't necessarily need that. Um, the next couple days are going to be pretty chilly. So uh, just while these seeds get to germinate, um, I'm going to just put a hoop garden over the top and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so now we are going to take our spinach seeds. You can see they're pretty big seeds and we're going to put two in at a time and I'm going to space them out about nine inches apart. The packet says 12 inches, but um, I'm going to put them a little bit closer and see how many I can get in this little spot here. So I'm just making a little hole for each and every seed and then I'm just going to cover it up lightly with soil. Last year I got these hoops that I just use. You can put them together to make um, whatever length you want. Um, so I'm going to make my own little greenhouse effect with these. Um, and we're going to experiment. I have not done this before. So um, like I said, I wouldn't put these up necessarily as long as um, it was going to stay warm out. But uh, the fact that it's going to get kind of chilly the next couple nights, I want the ground to stay warm underneath this. So just so that they can germinate. Um, and then we'll take it off and see how far this gets us. Who is this, Jacob? It's... Honey. It's honey, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, nice. She's so sweet. She lets me pick her up. All the other chickens just run away. I don't know why, but we play with this chicken a lot and feed her a lot of food. Let me put her down. Well, she gets kind of crazy when I try to put her down. That's okay. So getting back to our little hoop house garden here, I have our little support posts and I'm just using the edge of my garden bed to keep them in place. So it's super funny right now. Um, I just finished planting this spinach and it started to rain. And it's funny because whenever I was a kid and I'd watch my dad plant something, um, he always liked to plant trees and shrubs and things like that, um, along with vegetable garden stuff, but for my mom. But um, he always said, God blesses us when we plant things because it always rained right after he planted things. And lo and behold, here we are and raindrops are falling. I love them. I love it too. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so now I'm going to take this plastic that I have used many times in the past. So it is a wee bit dirty, but <laughs> that's okay. It's going in the dirt. Well, do you want to grab the other side here? Thank you. Oops. All right, we gotta restake that. Okay, watch out, Lil. We're gonna put this board down right here. Okay, good job. And that's gonna keep these little babies nice and warm until they sprout up. Okay, so here we have our little makeshift greenhouse. Oh, it feels so good to get our hands in the dirt. I can't wait until all of these beds are alive again. 
it'll be a little bit still, but it just, like I said, feels so good to get started. Oh, so it is March 14th today. So, and I am in zone 6A and 6B, um, but we are trending very, very warm for the year, probably about a month ahead. Um, so truly, I probably could have gotten these seeds in the ground a lot earlier, but hey, better late than never, right? <laughs> while I'm at it, I wanted to show you a quick update on the winter sowing seeds that we started together. So let me show you this one. This is my broccoli and I'll show you inside. You can see all of them popping up here. I'm so excited to get the broccoli started super early this year. And then here is a look into my spinach. This is the spinach I winter sowed. So those I'm gonna let um, get a little bit bigger before I plant them out in the garden. It'll give the garden a little bit more time to be warmer. Um, so we're just gonna experiment to see how things grow between whether I direct sow planted it or whether I did my little winter sowing project here. Um, last year, winter sowing was amazing for me. Um, it beat out everything I did in my little grow room here. I just have a shelf that Rob built me with some lights and I don't know, I don't know if the lights just aren't that strong, um, but anything that I have planted in my winter sowing containers grew super strong and just totally worth it. So I'm leaning towards that's the way I'm gonna go eventually with all of them. Um, but we'll see, another experiment. So I hope this was encouraging to you. I hope that you're starting to think about your seeds and your gardens for the summer. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon on Sheena's Homestead. Goodbye, my friends.